Hey everyone, what do we have here? Some of you already recognize this, right? So yeah, the little mountain peaks there. This is a Schlage Everest lock. Uh, not the craziest lock in the world, right? It is, it is pickable, but I'm not actually going to take out my conventional pick set on this one. Why, do you ask? Well, because we got a little something new. Yeah, um, if you're not familiar, the, the, you know, Mr. Lee continues to turn out some awesomeness. This is a Leashy 2-in-1 decoder pick for Schlage Everest systems, uh, specifically the 123 keyway, the most common keyway in Schlage Everest. There are other keyways. Uh, in fact, when I was going through my collection of parts to shoot this video, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Why doesn't, why doesn't this fit in there? And it was really rubbing and binding up, and I looked at it, and Drew looked at it, and Drew's like, well, that's, a, that's like a 145 keyway or something there. What, what are you doing? So, yeah, uh, I had some other stuff in my own collection that I wasn't paying, paying attention to, but the far, far and away, the most common uh, Everest you'll see is the 123 style. So if we can get this up on camera, we can try to see if, uh, if I can make this work. Now, one thing I'll point out about the Everest system, uh, it is really hard to move from keyway position to position, right? From, from each, you can actually hear that click, 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 possibly snap, snap, snap. Uh, you just, you barely have clearance in between those chambers. So don't be surprised if you get a little bound up, jammed up, and you have to kind of reset yourself. But let's, let's see here. Oh, we got a, got a pretty good click out of one. Nothing on two. Not, not much on three yet. Ooh, four feels. Ooh, we got a little click out of four. May, maybe something on. Not sure on five. Ooh, got a good click out of six. Back to one. One still might. Ooh, there we go. One had lost it just by a hair. Ooh, getting between those positions. Nothing on two. Oh, there's, there's something happening in here, but I'm not quite catching. Four feels set. Got to click out of three again. Four again. Maybe I missed something on six? No, we still feel good there. One is good. What chamber are we not getting? Something keeps happening. We, we definitely don't have three set. I can keep feeling it wanting to click, but not staying set. Even just unset again. I think three is our problem child. I'm going to try to bully this a little more here. Ooh, there we go. All right. Whew, my God. Uh, and now, even if I were to try to show you decoding, I've tried this on some other Everests in my collection. Just getting, once you're set here, in fact, let me get you on camera a little better. Just getting between chambers is now a real pain. Like I can bear, I can't even get to the sixth chamber and I can't get back. Oh, I can barely get back to the first chamber. Holy crap. So we could try, you know, that's probably a seven. Ugh, Jesus. So it's, it's, I mean, I'm not going to decode this whole thing. It is really tight in there. Could you get the pick out with it turned? Possibly. Might have to, might have to hurt something. Oh, you know what? No, I see. You know what I'm doing? Who can tell me what I'm doing? Pause the video now and make your comments. Why can't I get this pick out? It's the check pin. My the, the pick itself is is pulling up on the check pin from this side. Yeah, so that's the that's one of the unique features. Do I have an Everest key around here? I do. So one of the unique features on Everest locks is lifting that little check pin on the inside. This, this may actually be the key to this lock, and you can see it happen. So that was the security feature. That was you know the hidden feature. If you didn't know it was there. And you disturb that, and you, you can't quite hit it, that would prevent you from setting the pins and getting the cylinder to turn. It's only when the key blade goes in that it actually scoops up that check pin, gets it cleared out of the way, and allows the plug to turn. Uh, so, 
with the tiny hump on the end of this pick behind that check pin effectively, and the check pin has no way to, to move out of, out of the way, I don't know that you could actually extract this with it turned. Someone's going to look at some clearances and tolerances and maybe tell me I'm wrong about that. I might be. I might be, but I don't think I am. No, that doesn't make sense because there's no housing that the check pin pop. Hmm. I could be wrong about this. All right. Now you definitely, definitely tell me down in the comments how wrong I am. Um, but what I am right about is the fact that this does work on Everest systems, the most common Schlage Everest out there. Uh, we've got them. We've got them now at the website that I don't like to mention. Uh, the web I, I'll mention the fact that we consistently smash the fuck out of everyone else on price on Leashy Tools because, again, we're not a retail operation. Uh, my business is a consulting business. I'm an educational, you know, trainer. Uh, my job is teaching people. My job is not uh, selling crap. So, yeah, if you, if you want to pick one up, go ahead and do that from us or from anywhere that fine picks are sold. Uh, they're all, I mean, things are all relatively the same price, but we, we usually have an angle on most people. If you want to win this one, uh, maybe even with an Everest lock, so you get to try it out yourselves. Uh, the giveaway URL, you're used to seeing that right now. Sign up once, you're good forever. I never, it's a mailing list too. Bill told me that. Bosnian Bill was like, you know, one day they're not going to like Locksport on YouTube and you got to make sure you have a mailing list so you can reach out to your your uh, people and tell them, hey, I moved to, you know, Utreon or Floatplane or one of those distribution channels uh, that, you know, my buddy Carl has to move to with some of his gun content. You see that Ian's gun content? Uh, he had the drop in auto sear video uh, and he was like, yeah, we couldn't we couldn't put it on YouTube. Had to put it all on the other the other thing. But uh, this is this is easy. This is easy peasy for you to win. Uh, shoot me, a, you know, shoot me a sign up and maybe you get it. I'll give you this. I'll give you the lock. And if you want one and you didn't win, uh, they're online. They're online on stores. But I think I think this was cool stuff, right? So I hope you enjoy that. Um, um, yeah, I'll give you more content as we go along. Uh, my eyes are still recovering and healing, so videos are hit and miss when I can make them. But uh, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.